What's up, Rockstar? Coach Betty Rocker here. Welcome to this really fun, quick resistance training workout. Now, we're going to be going for between 15 to 20 minutes tops today, but if you have extra time, I invite you to repeat this video a second time and do even more. So we're going to start out with some resistance training. And resistance training is super essential for helping to build muscle and, of course, help you metabolize your fat more efficiently because the more lean muscle that you're carrying, the more efficiently your body burns fat. And you can do resistance training so many different ways. If you've been working out with me for a while, you know this. We can do resistance using our own body weight against gravity in creative ways, which I show you all the time. But today I thought it would be fun to add in some equipment. If you have some at home, really simple stuff, just some dumbbells or water bottles if that's what you've got. And I'm going to use this box here to add some elevation differential for myself too. So you could use a kitchen stool, a stair in your house, or you can don't need it at all, I'll show you a variation. So let's go ahead and jump right into this by starting out by grabbing two weighted objects and putting them up on our shoulders. And go ahead and just, you know, for a second here, just go ahead and notice if you're hunched forward at all, I want you to stand up tall, open those shoulders, engage your core by gently tucking your pelvis and really turning on your abs. And we're gonna start out with our feet just slightly wider than hip distance. We're gonna shoot our butt back behind us, knees track in line with our toes. Hold it here for a moment. As you squat down, check your form. Is your belly button in and up as you squatted? Are you squatting straight back? Is your chest up? Powerfully come up, squeezing through your glutes. Now I want you to go ahead and step it back into a reverse lunge. Chest stays up. We step it back forward. Repeat on the other side. Reverse lunge. Come back through the entire three movements. Squat, powerful up, reverse lunge. Reverse lunge, good. We're just gonna speed it up. You know what we're doing now. Reverse lunge, reverse lunge. I wanna see really good form here. Your butt shoots back behind you. We don't bend forward at the waist. We keep a nice flat back. Chest remains elevated. Squeeze your butt each time you come up to really get the maximum benefit here for your posterior chain. And track those knees out over your toes. Don't let them collapse inward. Awesome work. Just a couple more and then we're gonna do a little cardio and abs style move, which you may have heard of before. Go ahead and set down your weighted objects. We're gonna come into a plank position and if you prefer it, you can have your hands up on the side of your couch, ottoman or elevated surface. We're gonna do a quick set of mountain climbers. So bring your hands below your shoulders, whether you're elevated or flat, and we're gonna run those knees up to your chest. Hold your core in nice and tight. Have a nice flat back here. Good strong plank form. Come on. Run those legs. Let's go. Run, run, run. You've got about 15 seconds to go. Make the most of this time. We're not here for very long. Last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Whew. Rock star. Okay, we're gonna repeat our little circuit. Grab your weighted objects a second time. Come to your feet, put them up on your shoulders, and let's get right back into this. Engage your core, open your chest, squat it down. This time, I wanna invite you to step it back into alternating curtsy lunges. That should feel really good, especially because you're starting out in a squat form. Woo, nice job. Now, as you're coming into those reverse curtsies, same rules apply. Keep that chest up, nice and strong, and your back knee is coming behind your front heel. Great work. Nice and stable. Keep that core engaged each time you squat down. Have your body and your torso in a nice straight line up and down, whether you're squatting or lunging. Amazing work. Come on. Last one and bend the knees to set down your weighted objects. Come right back down to your plank, whether you're elevated or all the way down on the mat. And we're gonna do another set of mountain climbers. Here we go. Begin. Run those knees. Come on, rock star. This is what we're here for today. Let's make the most of our time. You are getting lots of lower abs, lots of cardio, bonus chest, so strong, even some glutes with this fabulous move that I love, the mountain climber. Last eight, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You rock that. Okay, we're gonna come right back into our final set of squat to reverse lunges. Grab your weighted object, come to standing, throw them up on your shoulders and feet about as wide as hip distance or just a little wider. Check in with your form, squat it back, straight back lunge, straight back lunge, just like we did in round one. And repeat, squat it down, straight back lunge, straight back lunge. Great job, come on. Squat and repeat. You're doing awesome. Hold that form. This can be effective and challenging with no weights at all. If you're doing it correctly and activating all of your correct muscles, you will feel this almost as a total body movement. So good. Don't forget to squeeze that butt when you come back up. Really track those knees over your toes. Don't let them collapse in. I've got one more for you, come on. Let's do this. Squat it back, power up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge. So good, all right. Set those weighted objects down, always bend the knees. Set them down mindfully of your back. Protect your body, come down. And last set of mountain climbers, find plank and run. Run those knees up to your chest. We got this, gaze is about six inches in front of you. Don't look down or up. We we'll wanna work on having a nice neutral spine as we work through this. Come on, you got this. Focus on hands stacked below shoulders, belly button engaged, hips are low and level. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, you rocked round one, circuit one, three rounds. It's good when my brain starts to uh, get, I'm, my body gets fatigued and I'm, my brain stops working as perfectly. That's when I get to say, awesome. Yes. Okay, we're gonna move into another fun sequence, another little super set. We're gonna pair two moves back to back. Now, if you're still down on the mat with me, great. Come on back into a plank. And if you are uh, up on your feet come down and you can balance on the side of your couch for this one as well. We're gonna start out by putting my hair over to the side because I gotta roll around for this one. Here we go. So starting in tall plank, find your nice plank form. Walk it down to your elbows, rotate to the right and give me a little hip dip. I know, back to center, walk up, walk down, Rotate to the left, give me a little hip dip, come back, walk up, walk down to the right, squeeze and lift that hip back to center, up to your hands, down to your elbows as we rotate over to the other side. Repeat, looking good. Come on, we got this. This is a total core, total shoulder, really great combo that will give you really everything you can get out of a very short amount of time. Putting together these fun little complex moves will really give you a lot of extra strength opportunity. Great work, come on. Plank up, plank down, side, hip dip. Coming back towards the end, here we go. Down, over, dip, back to center. Come to your feet. Great job, so good. Okay, we're gonna do a little jumping jack with a touchdown this time. So let's go ahead and do our friendly jumping jack. And as you come back from your jack, your hips scoop back and out, and you touch your feet. Out, or you touch your shins, or whatever's easy for you to reach. And each time I want your hips going back as if you were crouching to sit in a chair so you can keep that chest up. It's just a little bit of a bonus burn on a jumping jack. And of course, you can be doing these lower impact with a step touch, step touch. Great job, last two and one. Come right back down to the mat. We're gonna do our walking plank rotation again. Whew. Tall plank, of course this works on the side of your couch as well. 
You just need enough space to rotate across, side, dip, up. And if you're down on the floor and you just want a little bit of extra help, you can drop right down to your knees and still work on the up down and the rotation and even the hip dip. So all of these ways will work. Great job. Rotate, dip the hip, rotate back, walk it up, walk it down, rotate, dip, and rotate back, walk it up, walk it down, and rotate, back up, down, dip, raise, back to center, up, this is the last one, and dip, and center. Woo! Awesome work. Back to your feet. And jack, touch it. Here we go. Jack, touch, jack, touch. You got this. Come on. Jack it out. Touch it down. Jack it out. Touch it down. Feet come out about as wide as your mat or as wide as my mat, just a little wider than hip distance. Just like a regular jumping jack. And these are a little slower than jacks, but they're a little more dynamic because you have farther to go. Last three. Two, one, awesome work. Okay, one last superset of these two movements. We can do it. Come back to your plank, kneeling, elevated, or all the way into tall plank. Walk it down, really important. Hold that core super tight as you're working through this. I know it's challenging. I'm right there with you. Work within your limits. Do this safely so that you can build your strength as you go. Really important to work on our foundations, especially as we're beginning to add more weighted objects, more resistance. Very essential to have the basics down and to know how to go down a notch, especially if we start to get tired. That's just our body showing us that, hey, we're getting stronger and we've all got a limit, myself included. Last one. Down, over, dip, back to center. Last set of jack touchdowns. Back up on your feet, rock star. Come on, you got this. Woo! Oh my gosh. Here we go. Jack, down, jack, down, jack, down. You got it. Come on. Out and in. So strong. Let's make this count. Keep that chest up. Really keep those feet nice and even. Reach down for your feet. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Rocked it. You rocked superset number two. Oh, whew, so good. Okay, We've got one final superset. It's all happening quickly, isn't it? And you are really maximizing your burn here, you're really maximizing your use of time. So essential, so good. Here we go. We're gonna go ahead and use the side of your stairs, a couch, your box, your ottoman. You're gonna put your foot up behind you and we're gonna be doing single leg lunges. Now, if this one isn't a really good option for you, you can also do forward lunges with your foot down behind you. It's also gonna work the same muscles it's just going to be a little bit easier to balance. And if you want to try one foot up, you can always hold on to the wall or a chair beside you to help you build that strength. I am going to invite you to grab weighted objects for this, this sequence. So go ahead and grab those objects. We're going to step forward and put one foot behind us. I'm going to start with my right leg on the mat. And then I'm just going to check. Let's see, I can tell I can be a little bit farther forward because when I come down, I want my knee to be down at 90 degrees. Now your foot position behind you can be up here. It can be flat. You might want to put a towel down if you've got a hard surface behind you and play around with the height of that. Other important things, shoulders up, back, down, core engaged. When you're doing this, I don't want you pitching forward. I want you coming straight down. So drive through the heel. Let's go. Come on. Drive through the heel, light through the toes. Adjust your position as needed. You're looking good. Come on. Breathe. Give me 
one more and switch legs. Now it's also okay to put your weighted objects up on your shoulders if that's a little bit more comfortable. Go ahead and find your position and squat it down, press the earth away from you, driving through that heel. Gaze should be right in front of you, looking at a fixed focal point and really focus that knee should track over your toe, light through your back foot, let your front leg do the work. If you get to a point where you're like, I'm done, stop. My goal is to do eight to 12, so I think I'm in my sweet spot of about 10. With this particular weight set, if you're trying to pick the right weight and you're doing strength training, your goal is between eight to 10 reps. If you're trying to really build a lot of muscle, you wanna go heavier between six and eight. Conditioning, anywhere between 10 and 12, really up to you. All of these things can help you build strength and endurance. Oh, so good, okay. Our second move in this superset, we're gonna turn up the heat and we're gonna do low shuffles to the side. Here we go. Oh, and the reason I was telling you that about the weights is because if you're counting your reps, you know when you need to go up in weight, when you can easily get through 12 reps. Then it's time to up your weight and lower your reps. That can help you continue to progress your strength. And that's how I teach it in workout domination, line apps, and inside of our classes in Rocky Life where we're using equipment. Okay, I had to catch my breath. That was my sneaky way of doing that. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually start over here on the left side of my mat, squat it down to a low shuffle. I'm gonna shuffle over to the right side, inside kick forward, outside kick right, down, over and across, inside kick forward, outside kick left. And again, inside, outside, inside, outside, over and across, inside, outside, over and across, inside, outside, over and across, inside, outside, last one, over here, inside, outside, grab those weighted objects, round two, here it is, we're going to get through this, we got this, weighted objects up on your shoulders, step it forward, left leg kicks us off, and begin, breathe, focus on that core engagement, Pressing down through the heel. <sighs> Doing amazing. I've got my weighted objects up on my shoulders. They feel nice and secure there. <sighs> Give me one more. Switch sides. Come on, we got this. Reverse hit down. Press it up through your heel. You got this. Come on, gaze is in front of you. <sighs> so good. Hold that core nice and tight. Don't let your body weight pitch forward. That was it. Set your weighted objects down. Wherever you end up, whichever side of your mat, low down, shuffle across, kick, kick. Low down, shuffle, kick, and kick. Kick, and kick. Keep it low. Come on, kick. Kick, and kick. So good. Kick, and kick. Woo! Kick, and kick. Kick, and kick. Last one, and last round. Here we go. Grabbing weighted objects, final superset, bending the knees to pick them up, and get that leg up behind you. Adjust your position, shoulders back, and down and up, pressing down through the heel. Great work, come on. Breathe, hold that core in. Reset anytime you need to. And switch your feet. Eight to 10, that's your goal. Breathing, so good. So strong, so close to the end. Burn this baby out. 
Here we go, squat it down. Over, kick, kick. Over, kick, kick. Over, kick, kick. Over, kick, and kick. Woo! Over, kick, kick. Come on, we got this. Kick and kick. Woo! Kick, kick. So close, come on. Kick, kick, last one. Kick and kick. Woo! We did it. Okay, that was a workout in just 20 minutes. Now, this video may appear longer because I gave you a hello at the beginning, and I'm going to give you a goodbye right now as I pound some berry green protein. And I don't know if you know this, but one of the reasons I put it together the way that I did is because it has a lot of BCAAs. And not only does it have all the essential amino acids, so it's a great plant-based protein shake that gives you all nine of the essential amino acids. Those are the amino acids that your body can't make on its own that we have to get from food. And of course, all the amino acids are building blocks for our muscle and our body, as well as so many other important body functions. And the branch chain amino acids are just the three amino acids that have little branches off of their compound, off of the way that they're created. And they are leucine, valine, and isoleucine. And berry green protein is a great source of them. Now, a couple of cool things about the branch chain amino acids is they can actually help you increase and preserve your muscle mass. So that's really great, because if you're bothering to do any kind of training, strength training, any kind of training, you are wanting to hold on to and build lean muscle because we want to have lean muscle on our frame. That really helps us burn more calories at rest. That helps us be more efficient in all that we do. We have more endurance and strength and help us regulate our blood sugar as well. Now, it also, BCAAs have been shown to help prevent fatigue, which can be beneficial to you while you're exercising and also even on days you're not exercising. It just can help you prevent fatigue. So those are great things that helps to actually influence your serotonin levels, which is pretty cool. And another really great thing that you probably know about branched chain amino acids is that they can reduce muscular soreness. A lot of studies have shown this to be true and also speed up our recovery time. So one of the reasons I like to have some berry green protein post-workout even pre-workout, I don't do a pre-workout or post-workout supplement necessarily, but berry green protein is versatile enough where if you want to just make sure if you have a really tough workout, just to include it at some point around your workout is a great idea. And if you're interested or curious about the typical amino acid profile in all of the berry green proteins, um, there is a list of them on there and we've tested this extensively and every single batch has all of these amino acids. Now, Every batch that we make might have some minuscule variations. That way, that's why we don't put the exact amount of amino acids on the bottle, um, because I don't want to give you false information. However, they have all of the essentials, and this will show you the typical amino acid profile, um, everything that we have in there, plus the nutrition panel. You can shake it, bake it, or blend it. It's an awesome, versatile protein, um, and it also has 15 superfoods. So all of these great things, all it's gluten-free, dairy-free, and nut-free, soy-free, um, what are some of the other things? No corn, no artificial sweeteners, artificial flavors, none of that stuff. Everything is organic, made from nature, and I'm super proud of having created this amazing product. It's the first of the Whole Betty product line um, for your four pillars of health. So you can grab this anytime, and I definitely recommend using it as um, a bonus part of your healthy whole food lifestyle. Cheers to your health rock star, and I look forward to seeing you again really soon. I'm Betty Rocker. You are so awesome and amazing. Till next time.